Hi everyone, this is Kai and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited today because it is finally time for the Sweetie Nail Supply PR haul. So if you haven't been watching my previous videos, Sweetie Nail Supply reached out to me, offered to send me some products to try out and do a little video on. I am not paid to say anything in particular about these products, they just said, hey, can we send you a few of our items? You can do a video on it, um, make a design. And I jumped on that chance because I've genuinely been ordering from Sweetie Nail Supply for a while now. They are a US, or sorry, not a US, they're in Canada, but they supply Korean and Japanese gel brands to North Americans and I believe other places um, in the world too, because I, have a, I know somebody in the UK who's ordered from them. So um, they're a great supplier. They do not produce the gel products that I will be testing. So they are just like a, a company that pulls together different brands, works with them to import these products. So can't say enough good things about them. I've always had great customer service with them as well, even if there were order issues. So if you would like to support me and you would like to order some Korean Japanese gels, you can use the code GETPRESSED at checkout and get 10% off. And then I also get a small amount of commission from that. So thank you very much to Sweetie Nail Supply. They did send me four different products that I will be showing in this video, along with a couple of items that I had actually ordered myself and just didn't want to put in its own video because it wasn't enough. Um, this will be kind of a two-parter, so you get two videos this weekend. This is the haul portion. And then I did a design with the gel polish set that they sent me, and that was just way too long to put into this video, so that will be posted tomorrow. So the first products they sent me were the Yogo Zombie Base and Top Gel. So I recently had done a video on the Yogo Mayo Peach Collection. Um, I did a really cute little 3D cinema roll set and I've fallen in love with the Yogo brand and the polishes that they're coming out with. I think the collections are just very pretty and cohesive. And so I was excited actually that I got to try the base and top coat. Especially since I've been on the hunt for like a good base coat, a good top coat. One thing I do really appreciate about these ones is that they are quite thick. So I show off here the base coat. And as you can see, it is a pretty high viscosity base coat. But I have used it already and I found that even though it is very thick, it self levels beautifully. So it does not give you any lumps or bumps and it will stay in place when you put it on the nail. I like a thicker base coat if you're going to be working with nail tips that need a little bit more structure. I think that's a great way to add an initial layer of structure to that nail. But if you like a thinner base coat, this probably would not be for you. And up next is the top coat. So same story here. It is on the thicker side. So if you are somebody who likes to do a lot of layers of nail art, you like a thinner top coat, that's not going to add too much bulk, then this probably is not the best option, but if you're looking for a really solid, thick top coat that's gonna go on there, add strength, I strongly recommend this. It is very nice, again, very self-leveling, just like the base coat. And can I just say, one thing I appreciate is that the top and the base coat are two entirely different colors in terms of the packaging. I actually do really like the Beatles base and top coat. Um, particularly the top coat is a slightly thinner consistency, but I am always accidentally reaching for one or the other because the bottles are the exact same. They're both black. The only difference is one says in like very small print top coat and the other says base coat. So having these be in two entirely different colors will help me not mix them up in the future, which I appreciate. So the next thing that they sent me are these Sarah and Friends tips. Very cute packaging, I must say. Um, it was sealed with a sticker that unfortunately was a little bit hard to remove, so I did rip the top of the packaging, which is sad for me because I really like keeping all of my aesthetic products really clean looking, just because um, sometimes I almost have just as much fun with the packaging as with the products themselves. But that's okay. So here are the nail tips. These are the almond tension nail tips. 
They come in 10 different sizes and they give you duplicates of, I believe, size 5 because that's supposed to be their most popular size. Um, maybe one that you would use for like your ring and your pointer finger. But here's the shape. I actually really, really like the shape. It's almost between, I would say, like a medium and standard long almond tip. I tend to like a slightly longer almond shape. So I go ahead and size out the tips on my actual fingernails. Unfortunately, I do have quite wide fingernails. The actual nail bed itself is pretty wide. I'm typically a zero in most American sizes, maybe a one if I'm lucky. So the zero was just a touch too small for me. So just note, if you are somebody who has wider nail beds, these tips are not gonna work for you. I think they're a little bit smaller because um, they are an Asian brand. So I do a little bit of a bend test here to see what the strength looks like. And if you do bend it and get that crease, will it go away when you bend it back? It did indeed go away. So these are, I think like a PMMA material versus a straight acrylic material. They're supposed to be like those soft gel soak off tips. The free edge is stronger, but these are thinner tips. Now I personally, I like a thinner tip. I do a lot of nail art, a lot of layering on mine, so I want a tip that's not gonna be super bulky right off the bat. So again, if you're looking for something with a ton of strength right away, um, these probably aren't for you. But the shape is gorgeous. Like I said, I have bigger nail beds, that includes longer nail beds, and a lot of times I have issues with the very edge of my nail sticking out from under because the nails tend to curve in too soon on almond shaped nails. So I like that these are slightly longer and they have a very pretty curve. Now the next three items are not items that were sent to me as PR. I actually purchased these um, just because I had some ideas for designs and needed to pick up some other products. So these three I ordered myself. This is the Nail Bio Chrome Glitter. I've actually used it at this point, so I'll show you the original packaging. It is the gold color. I actually use this in my design for the Sweetie Nail Supply PR video that again will be posted tomorrow. If you wanna check, I think it's already set to premiere if you wanna turn on your notifications. It's probably my favorite design yet, I will say. It did take me like seven hours to do one hand though. So I use this chrome glitter in that. It is a very, very fine chrome powder. I was kind of scared of opening it here because I didn't really want to make a mess, but I wanted to show you just how gorgeous and shiny it is. It is a very nice true gold, I would say. It's not super yellow, but it's also not too silvery. I find it hard sometimes to find the perfect gold that's that nice in between between warm tone and cool toned. So I'm a big fan of this chrome powder. It is more expensive than say what you would get off of Timu, whatnot, but I think for the color alone, it seemed worth it and the application was really easy. There was some fallout, but the fallout seemed to wipe away pretty well and it just was a very beautiful chrome powder. Now that my hands are all glittery, um, the next thing that I purchased was this Fix Gel. Now I made a mistake here. Jin B actually has two Fix Gels. I was originally looking for the one on the screen here, the Tiara Clear Fix Gel. I accidentally got the Ivy Fix Gel. No, um, it's totally my fault. Again, I just saw Fix Gel and went with the first option. Um, but what I had wanted was that Tiara Fix Gel because it is a little bit more viscous, it is thicker, so it's not supposed to move. That way you can take your large gems, dip it in the gel, and then place them, and they're not supposed to move around. This one I would say is quite a bit thinner. It is comparable to like the B Crazy Top, the thick version. So you can see here I open it, and I pause for a second in confusion, and I was like, did I? mess up and so I had to go look and I did indeed mess up but that's okay I will use this it will be nice to dip like chains and smaller gems into to really submerge them in the gel and then put them on my nails so I don't have to go back and overlay them so yeah um I'm not mad that I have this it just it was not the product exactly that I was looking for so just be careful if you're ordering there are two fixed gels from Jinbi. Now this next product is another yoga product. So 
I have been wanting to get the Vala toy gel. Um, Hope from Nails Box of Hope had recommended it to me. She uses it for like her 3D work. And so I had wanted to try it out. I also had wanted the Milk Jam, which I would say is a hugely popular product that I see a lot of creators using. It is the white based 3D gel. Unfortunately, both of those were sold out, so I settled for the clear gel, hoping that I can mix it with pigments or other polishes to make a colored 3D gel. I currently sculpt mostly with the McCart 3D gels. However, they are so thick that they aren't really easy to mix in with like a, a colored polish or pigment to make a custom color. So I wanted something that would mix and I had seen people do that with this. So I'm opening it up here. It is quite a mess when you first open it. And I thought this was like a completely non-stick gel. So I go in with my nitrile glove and oops, um, it was not. <laughs> it was a little bit sticky to the touch. The interesting thing though, is as soon as I put like a little bit of alcohol on my finger um, or on this wipe here and I rub off the gel, it is very non-stick. So as long as the implement that you're using is either silicone, some sort of non-stick plastic, or it's rubbed down with some alcohol, as I test here, um, it actually does not stick. So I go in with my spatula, having not wiped it off at all. Initially it's not sticking, but once I like really dig in there, the gel does start to stick. So I put it on the palette here, and as you can see, it doesn't really want to stick to the palette. So it's, it's definitely a new consistency for me, something I'll have to get used to. You definitely want to wear gloves with this. You always want to be wearing gloves, but um, this one you really should not be handling without. And I try like a brush here, wet it down with some alcohol. That worked perfectly fine. And then I also go in with a silicone tool to see if anything would stick to that. That also worked perfectly fine. It seemed to hold its shape really well. So I'm excited to experiment with this. And I'm hoping that that thinner consistency, maybe that slight stickiness will actually help it mix in with colored gels so that I can get nice custom colors for my 3D work. I had had some already cured gel on that little palette, so you can compare it here. That's just like a regular top gel. The cloudy one is the McCart 3D carving gel, and then this is the Yogo gel. It is slightly flexible, so when it cures, it is not completely hard. Just something to note. And the last thing here is a gel set that I did receive as PR, so this was gifted to me. Again, thank you so much to Sweetie Nail Supply. This is the Bella B and Show Me Korea Swanky Collection. It is an absolutely gorgeous set of reflective glitter gels. It's so funny because I had actually been looking at purchasing some reflective glitter gels because that's something I don't have a lot of. So when they reached out and offered to send this collection to me, I was super stoked. As always with a lot of these Korean Japanese gel brands, if you get a full collection, the packaging is going to be very nice, very luxe. So this has like an almost dreamy theme, a very luxury look to it. It comes with this really nice color swatching card. And this one's quite thick. I hold it up here and show you. It's quite sturdy. It's like a nice cardstock so that it's not gonna break. If you add your swatches, you can display it. It's got a cute little message at the bottom. I am just a sucker for an aesthetic nail polish set. I think that's part of why I love Korean and Japanese gels so much. It's just because they look nice too. I mean, these bottles are gorgeous. They're very simple. They have the branding. They have the color of the polish inside on the outside so that you know right away what you're reaching for. And these lovely gold handles, they're just Gorgeous, classy looking, I'm like a magpie, I like shiny things, okay? So this first color is number 57. They do have all these shades available for individual purchase on the website too, in case you don't want to pick up the whole collection. This is just a really nice, almost warm toned, silvery white glitter. Again, that's number 57. Next up is the color that I use in my design that I will be posting tomorrow. This is a gorgeous, like, nudie pink peachy glitter. 
This is number 58. You can see it here, but in addition to having like that reflective glitter in the polish, it also has rainbow glitters almost to give it really nice dimension. This here is color 59, and I almost wish I had used this in the design that I end up making. I think it would have been stunning. I did go for like a more muted pink to match the new color I was using, but in hindsight, I should have used that one. This purple is also one of my favorites. I love purple. And this is a gorgeous lavender glitter. It is more of like a, I would say, a warm toned lavender. It's not too cool, but that's number 60. This blue, also one of my favorites. I think the middle three polishes have to be the best ones. They have the most color to them. That's 61. And it is this lovely, almost like an icy blue. My boyfriend said it would make a very good Elsa set and I happen to agree. Although, I don't know, do people still care about Frozen? You let me know down in the comments. He swears they do, but I, I'm not sure. And then this last one here is a true silver glitter. This is number 62. And this one is just more cool toned, I would say, than the first one. The first one is more of like a warm toned silvery white. And this one is a true silver. So this whole collection is absolutely gorgeous. I genuinely love all of the colors. I think if you're going to pick up any individual ones, I highly recommend that pink, purple, or blue. They just have the most color payoff, I would say. Um, the other ones are a bit more neutral in tone. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of them here though. So this is the first one, number 57. I'm noticing on camera it's looking a lot more cool toned than it is in real life. In real life it is more of like a, a white glitter. This is number 58, that nice peachy colored glitter. You can really layer these on to get more of a color payoff for the swatches. I didn't want to waste too much product so this is quite a thin layer. So you just get a little bit of that peach sheen. Number 59. Ugh, again, I do wish I had done the design with this pink, but oh well. It is just such a gorgeous, almost like cool toned pink because it does have a lot of like purpley blue glitters that are coming through. I will definitely be using this in future designs, so I just think glitters and shimmers are such a good way to add an element of dimension to a nail without really doing much even. So this is the purple I absolutely love this color. I think it would make a gorgeous addition to like a Y2K type set. For some reason for me, purple just screams Y2K and I love it. It has those nice blue pinky glitters in it to make it more of a dynamic color. Up next is that blue. This one's really pretty. I think the addition of like the blue purpley glitters in it make it like a perfect winter slash ice color. I think this will be amazing when it gets cooler and I can start using it in snow designs. And then last but not least is the straight silver color. This one I think will be very versatile. You can use it to overlay a lot of different colors because it is just kind of like a pure silver with some blue kind of greenish glitters in it. And that is the whole collection together. Now you can't see the undertones really well because I have really strong studio lights. Um, so it kind of washes out the actual color. But if you layer them up, that undertone will show through. One of my favorite things to see are actually swatch videos just because I get a weird satisfaction from seeing all the swatches laid down. So that's what this is. I'm just showing you how I place them all on the card. To me that is so satisfying, I love this step and I love having these little decorative swatch cards. Now do I know where I'm going to put them? No, but I do like that I can pull them out and see exactly what color I might want to use for a set. And I got these little glass hearts off of I think AliExpress, I'll try to link them below if you want them for yourself. So here's a little sneak peek at the design because I wanted to show you how these polishes function under a flash and they are absolutely stunning. The sparkle is unreal. I couldn't really capture it on camera well enough, but they're gorgeous. So 
that is the collection that is everything i ordered slash received from sweet nail supply i really hope you are enjoying these hauls i plan on doing more reviews of other brands too in the future just because my hope is to help you all make more informed purchases in case there was brand or product that you had wanted to try out but you were looking for more information but i will also still be doing my regular design videos i love those the most but yeah this is everything laid out so i can get a thumbnail i want to say thank you so much again to sweetie nail supply for working with me on this video and thank you so much to everybody who has been using my code and who will use my code again that's get pressed for 10% off your entire purchase. Right now, I think Sweetie Nail Supply is still doing their 70% off anniversary sale. If you want to go check that out, I will link it down below. You guys don't know how much it actually means to me every time you use my code. Um, I'm continually humbled by all the support I receive on this platform. And I thank you so much just for being here. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye. <music>